12-sided stories is for mature audiences and often deals with topics that may be difficult for some listeners. Discretion is advised. Stories welcomes you to Otherworld Seattle, a story heavy, rules light Call of Cthulhu actual play. And now, our keeper, Wes Otis. Welcome to Otherworld Seattle. This is episode 10. We have some wonderful players with us. Let us start with Michelle. Hey, I'm Michelle and I'm playing Maribel Ochoa, who is trying very hard to save someone who's trying to sacrifice themselves. Hello, I am playing Bailey Wolf. And at this moment, maybe she should just stop asking questions. Hi, I'm Pooja and I'm playing Mira Rao, who just found out she is immune to an archangel, like you do. Hi, y'all. I'm Jay Holtham playing Sean Charles, who just did one of those cool jump out of the fireball kinds of uh, 90s action movie moves. So that was awesome. And can I say, this one we survived <laughs> so far. <laughs> <laughs> hey, guys, I'm Mac. I'm playing Cecil Mulgrove, and it is possible to annoy angels. <laughs> it really is. <laughs> Before we start, please consider supporting the show through Patreon or on coffee.com spelled K-O-F-I. Now, on with the show. So the last time we were together, you all found out that archangels are real and that for some reason they don't want you to talk about or even know that other gods of the old ancient times walk the earth like Zeus and Chloe, who have been trying to help you unsuccessfully so far, avoid certain doom. At the end, Sean grabbed Mira's hand to run out of the building, like Jay said, and there was a big cinematic explosion as Zeus brought the lightning down on the building. Chloe tackled Mirabelle, protecting her from the blast and is now severely injured, and they're both in a burning building. Mirabelle is trying to do a fireman's carry to get Chloe out of there, and we left with a roll. I know it's evil to leave on a roll like that, but it is what it is. Why do you think he did it? (laughs) But I did it anyway. Mirabelle, did you make your roll? I did not make my roll. It It was 69 over my 50, but I would like to push. Okay, so for those of you who are not aware, in Call of Cthulhu, you can push. I have mentioned this before, but I should mention it more often. If you push, it means that you're putting an extra effort to try to make this thing happen. If it doesn't happen, something terrible goes wrong. So I'm gonna tell you right now, if you push this and you don't make the roll, Chloe definitely won't make it. And the damage die that I'm gonna roll is going to be a d12. How many hit points do you have? (laughs) 10. So this could kill you straight out. So it's your choice. You can either run away, Chloe's saying, get the hell out, don't worry about me, or you can make the risk and possibly Mirabelle might not make it either. That's how bad the situation is. Hard. I think I'm going to push it. Okay. Okay. Make a roll. I did not make my roll. (gasps) What? Oh, no. These dice are cursed. Okay. Wait. Can we... We're still (laughs) around. You're on the other side of the building. (laughs) Wait. I don't like consequences. So, uh, before I tell Michelle what happens to her, let's jump back (laughs) over to the other group real quick. I don't like consequences either, but it's so good for story. (laughs) (laughs) Okay, so the explosion does a bunch of concussion damage to you all. Uh, Basically knocks you flat on your ass. And all of these windows explode out and everything else. And there's fire going on behind you. 
all of you take five points of hit point damage from, yeah, it's a lot. Zeus made Ar- an archangel explode in lightning. Yeah. <laughs> you know? <laughs> so Mira, Bailey, Sean, and Cecil, you all are lying on the ground, covered in glass, and badly bruised up. And you suddenly feel a presence next to you, and then a second presence. And on one side, Shannon is trying to help Mira and Sean up. And Sean, you realize there's this woman standing next to you, all of a sudden helping you up, but you don't know who she is. You have not met her before. Oh, no. She goes, are you okay? Are you, are you all right? What happened? I guess I'm just like, I, we're, we're fine. We're fine. You should get out of here. Assuming she's a random person, like you should run, you run away. I'm, I'm not, uh, Mira. Are you okay? I'm, uh, I'm kind of scratched up. Honey, I felt that you were upset. I could, uh, are you all right? And she like starts to take the glass out of your hair. I think, oh, oh, my head hurts. Um, where is? Did we all make it? Like, is everybody okay? Is are we? Oh. You look around and. Elijah's helping Bailey and Cecil up as well. And Elijah goes, where's Maribel? She was still in the building. Yeah, she was at the the back door with Chloe. Ah, man. She was in that? There's like three other people, four, four other people. And at this point, some of the people from the bar start to spill out into the street and Elijah just runs straight into the burning building and starts yelling for Maribel. We'll start with Sean. What do you do? I guess I run after him, but not into the burning building. and get as close as I can. I try to run around to the back. You start to run around the building, and this immense heat is coming off the wood as it burns. And Elijah comes out the back. Mira, what are you going to do? I want to go around and find out what everyone's doing real quick. Shannon, do you do you know? Like, Can you feel? Is Maribel okay in there? Do you know? Can you, Can you tell? I, I'm only linked to you. I don't, I can't tell if other people are okay. Okay, I'm going to follow Sean around the back, or around the side, back, you know. Cecil and Bailey, what do you want to do? I think I'm going to follow the other two, but I can't avoid, like, sort of a playful punch on Mira's arm after hearing this weird conversation. <laughs> 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 like, all right, cool. <laughs> I don't know what's going on, but it seems okay. Bailey, what do you want to do? Okay, I'll shamble uh, limp uh, over there after everyone, because I'm just, yeah, I'm just like, we just got blasted. I just don't want to be alone (laughs) in the street. Okay, so all of you follow Sean. And like I said, once you get around the side of the building to the back, Elijah's already through the building. He is crouched down next to Maribel moving her, saying, are you okay? Are you okay? You also notice that Chloe's body is halfway out of the building and she is laying face down. Ever since the lightning strike, the rain has become harder. Michelle, you took nine points of damage. (gasps) Ouch. You're not even going to get a roll for that. You are unconscious (laughs) because you pushed the roll. But you are alive. Wow. Wow. Barely. Yeah, I rolled a nine. (laughs) You're right under the wire. Um, (laughs) Elijah's like, we got to get an ambulance. An ambulance now. Now, ambulance. Someone call. Now, please. Yes. Uh, Oh, phone. We got to find a phone. (laughs) I love this is always where we come back to is when you were saying bluff. <laughs> I've got to imagine that there's like cops and fire department. Oh, you're right. You're, you're right. Right. I'm sure you're right. I'm sure you're right. I'm sure you're right. Okay. What do we do? She was the one that knew f- the best first aid. Does anybody else know first aid? Crap. I mean, I've got first aid. Actually. Okay. Okay. Well, do your thing. Do your thing. All right. Let me try. It's not super high, but. Oh. I think that that worked out well. I said a four under my 40. Nice. All right. So you start to stabilize her and stop the laceration. She's burned on parts of her body and she has a huge contusion on her back. It's just this really big, long, nasty looking hit where a beam probably smacked her good. But you suddenly start hearing the sounds of several first responders coming to the building. Over here. Over here. 
Well, we don't want to move her. Yeah, so just, yeah, over here. Help, 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 help. I'm going to turn to Shannon and Elijah. It's like, y'all better get out of here. Elijah, because I can't leave. You just run that way. Run that way. We'll see you soon. <sighs> all right, I'll 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 meet you all at the hospital at some point. Just be careful. And Shannon goes, uh, all right, honey, I'll... And you know, she's really close to you. And she goes, are you, are you sure you want me to go? Yeah. Just for now. It's just to reduce questions. Sweetie, I don't want anything to happen to you. I don't want anything to happen to you. Please? All right. She kisses you on the cheek and then leaves. Did I notice that? Actually, no, I'm going to say you don't notice it because you were flagging down oh, yeah. one of the people. You had run more to the front, so no, you don't notice it. Sean probably noticed it and, and Cecil probably noticed it. What do Cecil and Sean want to do now, I know Sean's dealing with making sure Maribel is as taken care of as possible. Cecil, what do you want to do? I think Cecil's a little cracked at this point with like <laughs> everything that's happened and is looking for anything that's a distraction. And Mira is providing a really good distraction right now. She's like, I don't want there to be more questions. And Cecil's like, I have so many. <laughs> <laughs> and so it's probably just like giving this like shit eating grin to Mira. <laughs> because it's it's not this explosion, so it's something else. <laughs> Mira, what do you want to do after Shannon and Elijah start to run the opposite way down the alleyway? You know, I'm going to Chloe. Like, see if I can at least, like, if, if it's obvious that she's passed. She looks very damaged. I'm going to pull her body out of the Okay, you can tell she's only got a minute or two. I need you to make a resolve check because dealing with someone that you know and are friends with and you know they're about to pass is a lot harder than an unknown corpse. Oh, I was finally betrayed by my resolve. I didn't make it. That's a 77 over my 64. You go to pull her out and her legs are kind of pointing in a way that they shouldn't and her body is kind of contorted and there's massive burns and contusions all over her and she suddenly just gives off this like little cough and she turns you know her head just a little bit she goes who's there it's mira find themis and then she passes cue the uncontrollable sobbing <laughs> exactly <laughs> Wow, you got lucky. I rolled a one on that die. Uh, so you took one point of resolve damage. I could have rolled much worse because I rolled a very big die for that one. So you pull her out of the burning like doorway? Yeah, I'm not going to leave her body there to get... No, no. Uh, but yes, cue the uncontrollable sobbing. I'm just going to like, this is not okay. <laughs> like, none of this is okay. A few moments later, paramedics show up and they start to load up Mirabelle. They've got her. And one of the EMTs says to Sean, hey, man, you did a great job. This was this is good. If you, you ever think about being an EMT or something? No, no. All right. We're going to take care of your friend. And they start putting IVs and all this other stuff. And they start loading up. Where are you, Cecil? Right now, are you next to the ambulance or are you somewhere else? I think I'm standing in the alley. Okay. In between the two? L yeah, just kind of lost as to, like, which way to go because the, it's just like, okay, the, how much more can I handle? Okay. Bailey, where are you? Well, I, I flagged them down, so I was probably, like... Right uh, next to the ambulance? Know, yeah, and then watching, you know, at one point they're like, let us do our job, so... At this point, I think I've seen Chloe and... The police show up and they rope off where Chloe is so that when the coroner gets there, they can start doing their work. What does everybody want to do? When the police show up, I tell them to contact Themis. Okay, the lawyer. Okay. Yep, that's our lawyer. Yeah, because she's also her aunt, so... Right. Oh, okay, next of kin kind of thing. Yeah. Okay. They say, sure, no problem. They ask you a battery of questions... What version are you all going to land on? And we'll just say you're all friends and you land on the same versions. It's, this isn't going to be the cops think you did something wrong. But I just want to know, what version do you give them? Don't know what happened. Freak weather accident, maybe. We were 
hanging out, you know, Zeus, who owns the place, he's kind of a friend. He lets us hang out here after hours. And the next thing you know, this. Yep, place blew up. Yeah, just a big old boom. Gas, gas leak, gas leak. I guess, yeah, gas leak, faulty boiler, I don't know. And since people were going in and out of the bar, people would have seen the lightning, right? Yeah, and they definitely heard it. It it right. was quite loud, and plus all the windows exploded in the nearby area, so. Mm-hmm. Okay, yeah, well, I guess. They believe you when you say that it was a natural occurrence, like a natural disaster kind of thing, uh, due to what everybody else says, the, the sound of the lightning, the exploding glass everywhere. So do you all want to go to the hospital next? Yeah, yeah, yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So you all show up at the hospital. Someone calls Mirabelle's parents. It's going to take them like 45 minutes to get there because they kind of live out of town. And you are all alone in a waiting room at night because I know it's a big city, but, you know, in stories, waiting rooms are always empty. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Waiting to hear back. They've taken Mirabelle in to make sure there's no internal bleeding and, and that everything gets fixed. And this is the first time you're alone. Speak. What do you guys what do you guys think of all this and, and how are you gonna react to it? I'm just in shock. I I yeah. just there's just and cl- and cl- we we're just figuring out wh- who Chloe was and yeah I it sh- yeah we should not talk about it. Cecil is sitting very quietly, but you can tell that the gears are turning. I know we want to talk about it, but we should not talk about it. We probably shouldn't even be thinking about it. Just hope Maribel comes out okay, and maybe when Themis gets here, Themis will have some sense of what we do next. So all of you sit in relatively silence as the shock kind of continues to wash over you. And what jolts you out of it is Themis opening the door. It's at this point probably, you know, Mirabelle's parents had shown up, you told them what happened and they're kind of inconsolable as they're pacing the floor. But when Themis comes in, at this point it's probably 11 or even midnight and she looks perfect as she usually does. And she's like, I need to talk to the the four of you if I could um, outside for a moment. Do you? Let's let's go have a conversation. Okay. Sure. So you all go outside, and she goes, I'm really sorry that your friend got as hurt as, as she did. I had talked with the doctors, and they seem optimistic that everything's going to be okay. And I'm sorry that, you know, obviously we're going to have to collect Chloe, and, and we're sorry about Chloe. Yeah. I appreciate that. We didn't know what would happen... Of course you didn't. We didn't think we were we were going to hurt anybody. Look, Zeus, uh, and there's only so much I can say, but Zeus is Zeus. He sometimes chafes against not being the top dog anymore, and is it's hard for him not to be himself. And so he gets in trouble. Probably got in a lot of trouble after what he did at the at Holy Roast. So um, it's complicated, I know. What are we supposed to do now? Yeah, exactly. Do we hide? I I don't know the answer to that precisely. We have to figure out. All of this is a legal thing. It's all legal. So we have to figure out a legal way to fight it. As far as I know, since you all know now, you fall under a different category than other mortals. Once a mortal finds out, they tend to be taken out by the angels or separated from the community made to look like they're insane or or whatever to keep people from knowing the full extent of the realities that are around them. Assholes. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah. Mira, you're protected because your family is Hindu. Hinduism is obviously a major religion and is on the same footing as the God of the three books, which is what we call him Christianity, Judaism, and Islam. They think of three different religions, which they are in mortals perspective, but it's all the same God. And so 
he's got a really big piece of the pie is what I'm saying. He's got a lot of, he's got a lot of pull and his angels are dicks as you've kind of met. So we need to come up with a legal reason that I have to study the treaty and figure out a way to get you all out of this situation. I don't think he's going to make a move though. And I mean, Michael, I don't think Michael's going to make a move after what just happened. I think we have some time because exposure is the last thing that they want. Gods tend to not, I mean, it's not like the old times where it's like, hey, I'm here. They don't do that anymore. So I would say go about your, whatever you all consider as a normal day and let me do some, some digging. They're not going to come after us. I didn't say that. I think we have time. That's what I'm saying. We have some time. And in that meantime, we still have these men in black to worry about. Yes. Right. And bird attacks. I've just been thinking. Well, there's been a lot of been thinking. Bird attacks. We saw Paul Bunyan in the forest, and it seems so stupid now. Well, it's 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 kind of cornball. I mean, he's a he's a folk hero, I guess. He's not like us. He's a folk tale, but. F- if you haven't noticed, literally everything is possible. So, but I'm kind of surprised that he's still alive. Well, <laughs> that's where the birds might have come in. Well, is there? Oh, the birds are why he's alive. They're protecting him. Oh. Oh. It's a whole thing. I look. We'll get into that later. That's that's a whole different thing. Mm-hmm. Okay. What about the just? This, those shape-shifting robots have also been on my mind a little bit. The the agency that we're dealing with, that's not divine. That's something else. Oh, no. Okay. So I don't, know, I don't know. But I've got them. I've given us some time. Obviously, don't be alone. As you can see, splitting up can be uh, problematic for you. Mm-hmm. Just stick here at the hospital and wait. Is there... Anything you can do to help Maribel? Or, you know, maybe maybe you have a doctor in the family. Mm-hmm. I'll see what I can do. We're not all here, but I can send out a messenger to see if uh, we can get somebody to, to help out. Um, anyway, I'm going to go now. I'll be back. Just stay here and, and wait. So some time passes. Mirabel, you wake up. We're going to say the next morning, the rest of you are in the waiting room. Mirabelle, you realize that there's an older gentleman standing next to you. He's got on Grecian robes, a long gray beard, and he seems to be looking at some papers he has in his hand, kind of checking you out. He goes, uh, Themis asked me to come in and take a look at you. You have a lot of damage here. There's not a lot I can do without the other lesser doctors knowing that I helped, but I will at least restore some of your humors and whatever back to where they need to be. Try to avoid the flux. (laughs) Am I on the good drugs? You're on the good drugs, yeah. I probably see his beard and the the thing I'm thinking is, has a hanging Herodotus? (laughs) (laughs) He gives you back six points, which is pretty major. And, you know, I forgot, do you check yourselves in at all to to get some help from the doctors? Because you were all hurt pretty badly. Yeah, I mean, yeah, we should all get checked out and bandaged up. We should all be pretty messed up and, you know, get them good drugs. Yeah. All right. Cecil doesn't trust them. Okay, so you don't? No. Okay. And also, Cecil's too busy thinking. She's in her (laughs) mind palace right now. I get that. That makes sense. Everybody else, you get three points back. They help you out. It, you're going to be stiff and sore for a little bit. It's going to take you a couple of days to kind of rebound. I feel like it's important to know if we're all still on our parents' insurance. <laughs> yes. Huh. Yeah, for sure. Cecil, you're in your mind palace, but where are you physically standing? Um, I probably went outside briefly to try and bum a smoke. Okay. So what role would I do? Give me a knowledge roll. Roll against your knowledge. All right. Mm, Is that the intelligence? Knowledge is your education. Sorry. 
Education. Got it, got it. Ooh. That is pretty high. Don't suck, dice. Got it. All right. You turn to somebody that's standing next to you and say, may I have a cigarette? And you look up and it's one of the men in black. And he pulls out a pack of cigarettes. And he says, of course. And flicks it with his wrist. And one of the cigarette just comes out just a little bit so that you can grab it. Cecil, we've been wanting to talk to you. Can we have a conversation here in the open? This isn't like some James Bond bullshit cigarette, is it? No, no, it's not. (laughs) Then you better give me a light and you better talk really fucking fast or I start screaming. I understand. Clicks the light on and you take your drag and he says, your friends have become entangled in a lot. And as you've noticed, we've kind of backed off quite a bit. If that's what you call it. Well, look, we have something we'd like you to do. And if you do it for us, we will take you off the grid. You won't be known. You'll be zeroed out and you'll have all your freedoms. We need you to break into a few places. Computer wise, as is. Uh, yeah, okay. Sure. Gee, where, where could you possibly want me to break into that you can't get access to yourselves? It's not getting access. It's... We can get access to lots of places, but if a hacker from Seattle gets caught doing it, there's a plausible deniability about that, of course. Why didn't you keep Bacon alive to do it then? Because he wouldn't do it, and sometimes our torturers get overzealous and hungry. And he takes off his glasses and blinks, and the first set of eyelids are vertical, And the second set of eyelids are horizontal, like a lizard. Mm. Cool, that's that's super comforting. Can can I get a resolve roll? (laughs) I guess. Uh, A 59 over my 52. Okay, this is a big one for her, obviously. Man, you guys have been so fucking lucky. Four, you take four points, so you don't (laughs) have to make a roll. Okay. So lucky with these, like, resolve rolls, you keep, like, (laughs) missing the big ones. Nice. All right. I feel like compartmentalization was taught as a very, like, base skill Mm -hmm. in the 90s to children. Something like that. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah. Along with, uh, you know, how to, like, find the extra key that got left outside when you're locked out of the house. Right. (laughs) Or how to to get the screen off the screen window so you could open it. Mm -hmm. Breaking into your own home. He continues as you're you know, a bit shocked and says, besides, it's an agency we're not willing to try to get into ourselves. Are you going to just tell me what it is or are we going to draw this out? There's a group of renegades from our planet that have caused some issues and we want to get rid of them, but we don't want it to get back to us on our home world. And you seem like the easiest option for us. I mean, really? You want me to get involved in this? This is the, I'm the best you've got? No, you're not the best we've got. You're the best we can lose. If you fuck it up and they, they come and find you, we haven't lost the best we have. <laughs> oh, come on. This is so harsh. <laughs> 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 or we can keep hunting you. Look, and I get even real close to this asshole. And I take the rest of the pack of cigarettes and his lighter. (laughs) Okay. And go, do your own dirty work, dipshit. I'm out. And I turn on my heel and walk back into the hospital. (laughs) Okay. So I feel like we're at another point where we're kind of at a hard cut. Everybody's been patched up. You're going to have to lay low for at least 30 days before you all get together in the same place. Obviously, Holy Roast is gone, so you're meeting up at Mugs of Joe. This is the first time in a while that you have dealt with the supernatural, so I'm going to say that you get 30 points of resolve back, plus you also have all of your hit points because you're healed up at this point because that's how that works. If you rest 24 hours, you get a point back, so if you're resting for... 
that long, you get back 30 points. If you have, you can't go above your maximum, which is 70. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I want to be supercharged. <laughs> You've gotten a letter from Themis asking you to meet her at Mount Olympus tonight. So you all agreed to talk. Also, Elijah has been kind of in and out. Sean, are you talking with Elijah or no? Not yet, I don't think. Like, I'm still, still processing all of it. Okay, makes sense. So you've had relatively normal times for the past month. You're all sitting at the table. It's morning. You guys have your, your coffee. Uh, this place feels way more normal now that you realize it than a holy roast ever did. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you, you look at Joe, the owner, and you're pretty sure that he's not a Greek god. <laughs> pretty sure. <laughs> pretty sure. So do you all want to go talk to Themis? What's the plan? Yeah, I think we should go. I mean, they did a lot for us. And if we if we don't go, you know, the powers that be have held off for this long and we may not be protected if we don't go. If we don't go, something's coming to us. That's pretty clear <laughs> at this point. Yeah. I'm like, I can't help but feel like we kind of owe them. Yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah. I do. And, you know, yeah, we should. We should go. Mm-hmm. We should go and just sort of see what's going to happen next. Um, do we know about Shannon now? I don't think you know. Th- you just know that she's dating a, a nice young woman. I don't think you know anything mm. beyond that. I don't okay. think any of that information has been shared. They did not disappear and show up. They they didn't show any ghostly things. So right. we just know that she exists as yeah. a as you know her Elijah's girlfriend. a ghost, but you don't know. You know that that. Mira's dating a, uh, a woman. That's it. All right. Ghost girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So as much as you want to have that conversation, you yes. can't yet. <laughs> I can't. So I didn't say anything. <laughs> uh, Cecil, do you say anything about the men in black and what they approached you? I think that I do, like when we're all together, but I just kind of say it offhandedly almost. Okay. Because it's been a month and I haven't heard from them in a month and it's like um, okay. So I'm just gonna be, I, I'd probably just be like so the men in black tried to offer me a deal. Wait, when did you see them? Yeah, what? Hmm? Oh, sorry, I was thinking about getting some more coffee. Oh, oh, the men in black. Yeah, uh, uh apparently aliens fighting other aliens on our turf, which doesn't really surprise me, but I, I blew them off. You blew off an alien? How did you... How did that end? Well, I got a whole pack of cigarettes out of that. <laughs> uh, Honestly, I'm not surprised. Yep. So wait, when you say you blew him off... I told him essentially he could go fuck himself because I wasn't going to help him hunt down renegades from his planet and do his dirty bullshit for him. And he was just like, all right, ma'am, goodbye. How was... Yeah, have they been following you? Have you heard from them since? Probably. They've probably been following me. I don't know. I just don't know anymore. I mean, everything that I thought was real is real and uh, or seems to be so far. So, I mean, I don't know. I'm a mess, guys. And just goes back to drinking coffee. <laughs> OK. <laughs> All right. I I can kind of feel that. <laughs> huh. Okay, so before you all head out to Mount Olympus, which for those of you who don't know, there is actually a Mount Olympus in Seattle. It's actually west past Puget Sound. It takes a couple of hours to get there, but you can go visit it. You all are going to come back together. Is there anything anybody wants to do before you guys head out? I want to make sure I have all my gear and that I am packing heat. Okay because I Mm. trust no one anymore. (laughs) (laughs) What kind of gun do you buy? Well, I definitely am going to have a rifle with me because that's probably what I'm most comfortable with being the outdoorsy type. But I'll have a handgun too. Okay. I don't know what, because I know nothing about guns personally, but you know, (laughs) some sort of handgun. (laughs) Mm, Probably something, something like a 22 or a 35 or whatever. Big enough to stop a god. Or a nine millimeter. Nine millimeter is a good one. The, the good old Glock. <laughs> right. Uh, <laughs> Sean, what are you doing? I'm just getting ready to go. Like, it's just, 
we're dealing with things that are well beyond my understanding. So, right. It's a lot. Yeah. Just see what happens. Just going to show up and see what happens. Cecil? I mean, only what's necessary. I mean, she probably has some kind of bug out bag that she's been carrying around and couch surfing for the past month. Pooja? I think um, Mira's actually going to pray some. (laughs) (laughs) Mira finds religion. I mean, kind of, yeah, just for a little while. And then then desperately attempt to snuggle with Isis and Osiris, despite them not particularly wanting to. And and so she shows up with a few extra scratches on her face. <laughs> oh, <laughs> before you leave, Shane goes, are you sure this is a good idea? I mean, you all have been fine for the past month not dealing with this. Maybe you should just not deal with it and just let the gods be whatever they are. I don't think that's actually going to work, babe. When we figured out what happened, it changed. We can't ignore it. Because they're still going to come after us. I guess. I guess. Just be careful, okay? Always. So you head out. All of you, we're doing the same thing where we got two cars and... Mm Mm-hmm. Okay. Oh, I guess I'm the one who has to drive the second car now since... Yeah. (laughs) Since the rabbit's gone. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah. (laughs) So you're in the hearse and you all are driving out um, the ragtop Jeep's in the back and... It takes a while to get to Mount Olympus, a few hours. So it's late. It's probably about midnight. And you all start to go up towards Mount Olympus, turning into the park, and your cars die. The engines just clunk out. And there's this massive white light that shows up above you in a huge beam down. And that's where we're going to end season one of Otherworld Seattle. Oh, son oh, of a wow. bitch. What? Oh, I hate you so much right now. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Oh, man. Yeah, oh. that's where we're going to end it. I know oh. it sucks, but I think it's also going to be good. So <laughs> sometimes, you know, I think it's just a good place to stop. Um, so thank we had you two all. more episodes. I know, but I, I think this is a good, the problem is, is if we do two more episodes, it's going to, op- it's, it's, yeah, I, I think it's a good place to stop oh, right man. Mm-hmm. Oh man. Rude. So <laughs> rude. Yeah. Totally rude. Um, <laughs> I totally take that. But anyway, uh, I hope you all enjoyed the story and are having fun. I know I am. Where can we find you all? Let's start with Jay. Hi, y'all. Jay Holtham here. You can find me on the socials at Jay Holtham and all the old familiar social places. You can also find me playing games at Happy Jacks RPG and sometimes with It's Probably Okay's Twitch channel. Hey, guys. I have been and will continue to be Mac Beauvais. You can find me online as at Strange Like That, the Twitter, the Instagram, the Facebooks, and my website. Hey, I'm Michelle Otis. You can find me on Twitter at Mishulu. That's M-I-C-H-U-L-H-U. You can also find my music through Plate Mail Games on DriveThruRPG and BattleBards. Hi, I'm Pooja. You can find me on Twitter at L.A. Daisy Girl. That's L-A-D-E-S-I Girl and pretty much all the other socials as Forgotten Saves. If you want to hear more of uh, me doing the role play thing, you can find me on Happy Jack's RPG and also on its Probably OK Switch channel. Hello, I'm Saint or Saint Spider, and you can find me on Twitter uh, at Saint Spider TV, just all spelled out one word. And uh, you can also find me on Twitch occasionally at twitch.tv slash Saint Spider, all spelled out. And I am Wes Otis. You can find me at Plate Mail Games. Uh, like Michelle said, you can find our stuff on Plate Mail Games and Battle Bards. If you want to find the podcast, you can find us at uh, 12 Sided Stories, the number 12 and then Side Stories on both Twitter and Instagram. And then fully spelled out 12 sidestoriescom on our website. If you want to help out the podcast, you can go over and donate at coffee.com, 12 Side Stories, or you can go to our Patreon and become a, a supporter that way. Or you can give us a shout out or give us reviews, whatever works for you. That that's greatly appreciated. Uh, thank you for listening. And uh, we'll see you. We'll see you on the flip side of everything. So bye. Bye-bye. bye. Bye.